This tutorial will show you how to calculate the mean, average, median, mode, range, variance, and standard deviation. Yeah? I'll be using this hypothetical data in order to show you how we can use Excel easily to calculate all these um, median, mode, and so on. Yeah? So let's look into first uh, set here. First, we need to calculate the sum of sales. So how do we calculate sum of sale? So remember, whenever you want to put in a formula, you need to put an equal sign here and you search for sum. Yeah, so you have got sum. So what you can do is that you can just, we want the sum of sales. So you can click here. Okay, you have to press on your keyboard, shift, command and arrow down. Okay, so it will actually, you can see, has selected the entire range of the data yeah and you just click enter so this is the total sum of sales and we also want to know how many observations are there now this data set is small and we can see that the number of observation here are 30 but we can actually let's say if the data is huge you can actually calculate using a formula over here and we use the formula count a yeah if we have non uh, uh, for numer if it's non numerical okay we're going to use a uh, count a function yeah so click here shift command arrow down so it will tell you that over here we have 30 observations yeah now we want to calculate mean so we know how do we calculate mean we get the total value sum of sales we divide by the number of observation we can actually get the mean which is the average so a normal way to calculate would be you take the sum of sales you divide by 30 so that is your mean yeah but there is an easier way where you just can put here equal you type here average yeah and again you select the range enter okay it will give you what is the average value yeah so that will, this will be an easier option for you as well now how do we calculate median it's again a function here which is median yeah same thing select the entire data range yeah and click enter so this is the median yeah Next, we move on to mode. Equal, you type in mode. Yeah, so we will use this mode here. Yeah, mode. Again, we select the entire data range for sales and we click enter. So we can see that, okay, mode here is the uh, sales that have frequently appeared or frequently conducted by the customer. It's 150. Now next we want to find the range, yeah? we want to find the range between the maximum value and the minimum value. So how do we do it? We can put the equal sign. We type in maximum. Okay, so it's here. Max is here. So another way to view is that you can view the formula here at the function here. It's usually much more easier for me, but it depends on your preference. Yeah. So what we do is that we find the range. Okay, we want to find from the sales range. Right, so don't click enter yet. You close the bracket, okay, close the bracket, minus, we find the minimum range, okay, minimum here, yeah. Same thing, we have to select the data again, okay, so the data range is already selected, you need to close the bracket, and you click enter, okay, so we can see that the range is 100, okay, between the biggest value and the smallest value yeah so next we want to calculate the variance yeah so it's the variance of the sample so again you can just type here variance Um, let me search for the uh, variance formula. Okay, uh, it's V A R. Yeah, okay, it's V A R S. Okay, this is the formula. So variance again, 
you select the entire range okay and click enter so we can see this is the variance yeah next we want to calculate the standard deviation yeah again you click in your equal sign here okay and then you have to now find your standard deviation so s is st d e v yeah so you have p and s p is usually referred to population and s is referred to sample so we're picking up the sample here right you again select the entire range yeah and you click enter right so we have already got the standard deviation yeah so if let's say you feel that the values are too large we can again yeah can make the points to two decimal points yeah so how do we do that you right click format cells you go to number and decimal places are two right so you can see now all your data are at to be two decimal points yeah so this is how you can do uh, using excel it's much more easier for you to calculate the values yep thank you